we are getting ever so close to the next chapter of Stardew Valley, the 1.6 update. It has got to be around the corner very soon, now that the 1.5 update is released on every platform, mobile being the last one, which recently got released, we now know that 1.6 is coming. We have no idea when, I am expecting it very soon sometime this year. We already know from the man himself, the developer, that this isn't going to be a massive update, nothing huge and game changing like the 1.5, but we do know there's going to be some content added along with some quality of life changes for modders. So the modding community is going to really appreciate this update. But what I want to know is what exactly is going to be in the 1.6 update content wise? What will we get? I'm trying to get my head around it. I've been trying to think what we could possibly get. And I'm also very interested to know what the community really wants and wishes to see come to Stardew Valley. So I did ask this question on my channel itself, in the videos, on my community tab, and I've been getting a lot of your guys' wish lists for 1.6. And that's what we're gonna go with today. I wanna talk about some of the most requested things that people really wanna see for Stardew Valley. I will also share with you some of my personal things that I wish to see come in 1.6 and potentially 1.7 that we do know is not ruled out. 1.7 could possibly be another update. So yeah, this video is all about discussing and talking about what we can expect to see, what we would like to see, and it's gonna be interesting to look through the comments and see what you guys have been asking for. So first of all, I wanna to go to a video that I created like a year ago now. I was kind of discussing the future of Stardew Valley and I wanted to know, could there be a 1.6 update? Because back then when I did this video, we had no idea. You know, 1.5 had dropped and I thought that possibly could be the end of it. But since then, since that video, we do know that 1.6 is confirmed. And on that video, I asked, for people to get involved in the comments and share with me some of their wish lists and things that they would love to see for 1.6. So we're gonna go through some today. Some things that got the most thumbs up, so these are obviously some of the most requested. And the top comment here on this video that got the most thumbs up was, the only thing I would really want to change in Stardew Valley is how having kids works. I wish the children could talk and leave the farm as they get older, but this is purely aesthetic and it wouldn't change gameplay at all. So it may be more suitable for mod territory. As far as gameplay goes, it's just about perfect in my opinion. So it seems like a lot of people are kind of happy with the way the game is, which is very interesting. You know, people really don't want to see much more, but I do see the topic of kids mentioned so much. Every time I ask someone what they would love to see in Stardew Valley next, it is always about the kids. And personally, it is one that I really, really wish to see as well. I want the kids to get a big change and an overall in the game. And we can discuss this in a little bit more detail. I'm sure we'll see more comments on this. But some of the things that I would love to see, like mentioned in this comment here, I wanna see the kids get older. In Stardew Valley, the kids get to a certain age and they never grow up. You could go by 20 years in Stardew Valley and this kid is still the same size. I just don't understand why after maybe three years, this toddler could turn into an adult. Like it's only a sprite, it's just a sprite change I'm sure it could be very, very simple, just that alone, you know, changing the size of this kid. So yeah, seeing them grow up is a start, first of all. And then we need to get some interaction with these kids, you know. You, you go through the, the story of the Stardew Valley, you get married, you have a family, you get a new house, but the kids just kind of feel like they are there in the way. There's not much interaction, you know, you don't get a dialogue box where you can chat with them, you don't see a portrait of them. You don't really build up a bond in that way because like, you, like I said, they kind of just feel like they're in the way. So I'd love to see this get built up on a little bit more, talking to your kids. Maybe they'll be able to leave the farm. That would be amazing. You can see them get involved around the town. Maybe they could go to school, join Vincent and Jazz, you know, there's lots of things like this. I know that's probably a lot of hard work for the developer, but you know, it's something that would be insane. Another comment here that I'm seeing is about marriage. Somebody says, I would love to see the other marriage candidates potentially marry themselves. Maybe have rivals for the affection of marriage candidates. Like we all know Clint has a thing for Emily. Maybe he can actually woo her over and they get married. So this actual element here of um, the rivals has been a thing before in other farming games, such as the Harvest Moon series. I remember playing those games and all of the bachelors and the bachelorettes add somebody else 
thoughts in the game they was interested in. And if you didn't, you know, work hard and marry those people, they would get married with that guy or that girl. And you'd have to try and speed this up a little bit, you know, have this rivalry to try and marry the person you really want to marry. It was very fun. It had a, an interesting element of the gameplay. You know, you, you didn't want to slack off it made you actually want to go and physically talk to that person and give them gifts every day and just missing one you'd feel so guilty and kind of like oh my god i've not done enough whereas stardew valley you have the freedom to kind of work on these relationships whenever you like you do lose a few friendship points without if you don't speak to them for a day but it is very little you'd have to go a full like three or four seasons until you start seeing those hearts go down so yeah rivalry marriage that could be a great thing i'm not sure we'd ever see that if i'm totally honest i feel like that should have been put into the game at the very start if it's not being here by 1.5 then it's definitely not going to be coming anytime soon i see another comment here about wanting to see children grow up and this comment says our kids and the others in town this person here wants to see jazz and vincent grow up which i think could be very interesting as well imagine you go by five or six years in the game you've not got a child yourself but just seeing jazz and vincent grow into this adult like I said, it's just a change of sprite and a portrait design. I feel like that would be very, very awesome. Going on to this comment a little bit further, other adults in town can get married and have children, just like we've mentioned before, a lot of people wanting this. And then maybe some would even move away to the city and we could go and visit them or at least go, to, go over to their school. That would be a huge update and require a lot of programming. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I do see this comment a lot as well. Going over to the city. We see it get mentioned a lot, Zuzu City and downtown. We do see this get mentioned in some of the dialogues with the NPCs in the game. And there's a few cutscenes as well where you get to see snippets of it. And I'm pretty sure some of the heart events as well, um, like is it Sam or Alex, actually have some of their cutscenes in the city, which is awesome. But yeah, I would really, this is another part of my wish list. We can talk about this now. I would love to be able to go into Zuzu City or a town where there's new shops, new buildings, a few more NPCs. I know this is very, very huge and this is a big project to do. And we've got to remember as well, guys, you know, Eric Barone, the developer of Stardew Valley, is currently working on a brand new game. Haunted Chocolatier. This is his next project. He's putting a lot of time and effort into this, so we can't expect to see anything huge for Stardew Valley anymore. We are only going to get little things because he's got to dedicate his time to this new project. You know, he's moving on, even though he's going to be putting updates out for Stardew Valley. And another thing to mention that we really need to remember is all of these updates are free, guys. There is no DLCs. You don't have to pay for them. We've had Ginger Island. We've had multiplayer. We've had huge updates, and they are all free. So, you know bringing out free content that is huge especially when you're working on a new game is a is a very big ask so I, I do know a lot of these are just you know wish list dreams little ideas that we probably will never see but it's always good to talk about them a lot of people are talking about since they have added the perfection system in the game where you can now 100% complete and perfect Stardew Valley kind of brings the game to an official end that is Eric Barone or Concerned Apes way of saying this is the end of Stardew Valley you can get 100% perfection obviously if you bring out loads more updates and loads of new things this kind of breaks the 100 perfection you know especially to all those people who, who do have 100 so yeah a lot of people are just kind of hoping and praying that haunted chocolatier is just as good as stardew valley and they're looking forward to the next thing someone here has commented saying they would personally love to see the town develop a bit more maybe at an hotel or something get more usage of the train station and maybe go to another town that has a strong connection to pelican town so there we go we're going on the town thing there again i agree the train station in the game it's kind of there and you don't get to use it you know that would be amazing if you could actually get onto the train and go over to different places i kind of always scratch my head at that with stardew valley like we get a train station and you can actually see the train go by there's a, literally a little seating area where like a platform and it makes you believe that you can actually ride the train in stardew valley or get on board when you first start a new game but then as you play a little bit further you eventually find out that it's just aesthetic you know it's kind of no purpose to it and i always wondered like why why was that a thing because you could have done so much with the train station. Even if it was just going to a different small village, it didn't have to be a crazy big city or a town, just a nice small area, maybe a secret area that the train station can go to. So yeah, I would like to see that as well. A hotel would be awesome as well. And the best thing about having a hotel in Pelican Town is a lot of NPCs can kind of come and stay over from the town. So you don't actually have to have them live in, the in Pelican Town. They can just come and visit. And this opens up a lot of ideas and potential 
potential. Someone else here has commented saying they want to see more crops like carrots and then you can turn that into carrot juice. More fruit trees, plant berry bushes. Oh, being able to plant berry bushes, that's a great idea. Imagine berry bushes or hedges instead of fences. Yeah, that would be amazing. I spoke about this on stream recently. I have no idea why some of the crops that are very popular in the real world are not in Stardew Valley. And one of them being is carrots and cucumbers. And then obviously onions and bell peppers. Like why are these not in Stardew Valley? It is crazy to me. But of course we do have mods for this. A lot of mods can change this. Sadly, if you're a console player, you don't get to experience it. But if you're on PC, you can add a ton of crops, a ton of, you know, products like carrot juice, etc. Lots of decorations such as hedges and berry bushes. So I guess that is why we don't see them in Stardew Valley. A lot of people have mentioned this comment. I see this quite a lot as well. And people want to be able to date and marry the wizard and Sandy. They are so popular. I am very, very, very surprised that the wizard in Stardew Valley is not a candidate because a lot of games similar to this like Harvest Moon back in the day you could actually go down the route of marrying the wizards and the witches and the goddesses in the game so we've got a big comment here with a big list somebody here what they want and need is a toolbox they want perfumes which you can make from flowers and flowering plants because flowers are underrated I agree that would be amazing maybe add rival mode in multiplayer so there's the rival mode again that we see add sick days for NPCs that would be annoying and more work for Harvey okay so NPCs can actually get sick in the game and they'll have more time in the doctors and maybe they'll be at home in bed all day that's not a bad idea uh, maybe having a part-time job where you can work somewhere like the Joja Mart or Gus's saloon for a couple of hours for some extra cash or work that's a great idea again you know taking up some jobs the only thing with that is you know you are a farmer you're kind of earning your own money and just working at a Joja Mart or a saloon you're not really gonna earn that much cash it's gonna kind of take away from the the freedom the peaceful farming RPG more family stuff more town events maybe a city expansion with new NPCs we see that again quite a lot yeah there we go some great ideas there some of that stuff is awesome I agree you know the flowers could have been able to get more use I mean you can use them for honey but yeah being able to make some kind of perfume or fragrant products would have been very very good bath salts bath bombs i don't know one thing that i think would be awesome is adapting more on the honey so instead of bees producing just honey maybe they could produce wax and then you could make candles and then you could use the flowers to scent them that's a great idea I'd be happy with a couple more art events and a few more storylines. Again, we see that quite a lot here. I'm reading through the comments. Another comment here that's got quite a lot of thumbs up is, I don't think it needs another update. I'm more than happy with the game after 1.5. So yeah, it does seem like a lot of people kind of just want to see the game end where it is, which is very interesting to me. So if we go over to my community post here, that was just a few comments. There's so much. I could have gone through a lot there. But a few weeks ago on my community page, I said, what would you love to see get added to Stardew Valley's future update? Updates. Now let's go through some of them. So the top comment here with the most likes, I'd like to see the community center have a purpose after you complete it. Why can't I get free random stuff from the pantry? Why can't I use the vault to store my money for interest? Why can't I produce coal or join the tailoring events for the exclusive shorts? Cooking challenges in the kitchen, unique one-time requests on the board. That is such a great suggestion. I actually totally agree about the community center. In my opinion, this needed to get more. You know, once you, f you build it up, it's such an a big achievement it's such a big thing it's one of the most important things of stardew valley you know working towards all of these bundles having this big finish but then after that it's kind of just like oh you know it's there it looks nice it looks better it's built up but that's it i, I think like clint goes and visits the boiler room or checks on it every friday and that's kind of like it like i'd love to see people go over there and just hang out and sit and relax and chill and this is a great idea like all of the actual rooms having a purpose so for example the pantry you can go every day and take a few things off the shelf that a few of the community people have produced i think that's a great idea or maybe you can donate things there using the vault to store money and gain an interest that is an amazing idea and then of course the boiler room can produce coal and then you can join tailoring events for exclusive clothing i think that's amazing you know for the crafts room the kitchen yes being able to do cooking challenges or even just being able to go over to the kitchen and cook kind of like having your kitchen it'll be a great place to go over and cook just getting some use out of it right that is an amazing, amazing thing. Another comment here with lots of likes is I like to see my kids age more. <laughs> Maybe attend school just like moving forward in general. The years go by, but not one changes. That is something we mentioned at the start. Yeah, we see that so much. And I think that is basically one of the most requested things to, to get added or changed in Stardew Valley. And that is the kids, you know, the development of the kids growing up and actually having a purpose. 
Another one here is possibly a shop that you can own. It could be an end game thing, more crops, reasons for growing the crops and more crafting tables used for current tables and items material. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting. Being able to own a shop, it could have been a part of, you know, the community upgrades, you know, where you can build Pam a new house. There should be another option to build a shop and it could basically go somewhere next to Joja, maybe next door to Joja or the movie theater if you have that option. And yeah, that'd be awesome. Being able to go down there, put products on a shelf, which could generate money. That would be awesome. I never thought about that, but that is a very exciting thing that could have been in Stardew Valley. But we do have Haunted Chocolatier on the horizon, and that game is kind of very similar to a shopkeeper simulator where you are a chocolatier, you own kind of like a bakery or whatever, and you're selling lots of these products that you're making. So kind of like we're getting that. It is coming, but just in a new game. <laughs> Another one here, moving the farmhouse and the pet bowl. Ooh, being able to move and lo relocate the house. That's a great idea. I never thought about that. And the ability to influence NPC relationships, seasonal NPC clothing, a use for the community center and a faster way to get there. Yeah, I agree. Continuing the NPC stories. And if I'm being really ambitious, the ability to terraform the farm. Wow, that is quite a lot. But yeah, we see it again about the commune center. People want to see that more developed and a faster way to get there. I kind of agree, you know, there's no way to teleport. There's no totem, obelisk, there's no minecart. Yeah. So you do have to walk a little bit to get there. I mean, it's not so bad at the moment because the commune center doesn't really offer much. If we could be able to do stuff in there and have a purpose with the commune center, then teleporting would definitely be a handy thing. The seasonal NPC clothing. Now, I have got mods for this. If you're a PC player, you can actually get this, and it is amazing. It is so nice to see all of these NPCs that we truly love, just seeing them wear new outfits. It just makes the game feel a little bit different, more alive. You know, if, the, if it's sunny outside, people will be wearing vests and shorts. If it's raining, they wear coats and jackets. I just, oh, it's just so good. I've had that mod for a long time, and it has been one of my favorites. And then people just go on, they want a lot of events, a lot of heart events, a, lot, a few more festivals, kind of building up on the stories and things like that, which is, you know, inevitable. A lot of people are going to want that in a game like this. Someone here has got an interesting one. They want to see Alex's dog Rusty get expanded and be able to pet him. Hmm, interesting. I've never seen that one before. But yeah, we see Alex's dog and he's kind of just there. You can't do anything with him, right? So interesting. Someone said new maps, maybe a little tiny cozy farm map or like a cottage style, a beautiful garden. That's one thing in my opinion, guys, that we could possibly see in 1.6. I'll be totally honest with you. We probably won't get anything huge like all of these we've mentioned with the kids and things like that. But one possible update that we could see is getting a new farm. We've kind of had a new farm layout with every update, you know, 1.4 was it the four corners, the multiplayer farm, 1.5 with obviously got the beach farm so we could possibly get one that's very interesting i have no idea what layout though i kind of agree maybe a nice small challenge kind of farm layout for the people who end game and they want a challenge and they've been playing for a long time making it really hard a very small cozy one where you don't have to worry about farming and things like that like almost like a challenge or a little cottage i think that'd be very very awesome a funny one here being able to put hats onto the farm animals <laughs> let them be my walking fashion models that is awesome yeah being able to put hats on the cows and the pigs that would be so good we need a mod for that as well i'm seeing another farm layout here a huge one with a lot more space for crops or one with faster regrowing fiber for animals so kind of on the opposite end of what i said rather than having a small challenge farm going on to a huge massive layout specially made for animals maybe which uh yeah that'll be very interesting now i'm gonna end here with one more that i think is very interesting and someone here says i would love it if your family could help with the farming tasks have some kind of schedule and obviously if your kids could grow up of course so yeah we've kind of briefly spoke about this obviously the kids growing up but then them being able to help you around your farm you kind of have your partner when you get married every now and then in the morning they'll say oh yeah i have watered some of the crops for you but it'd be good to actually physically see them moving around the farm doing some watering doing some harvesting they're very similar to the junimos where they go out and collect all of the the crops and put them into their little hut well imagine seeing your partner go up collect some strawberries or something and then go and move them into the shipping bin i think that would be really good just being able to have somebody help you around your farm and actually physically seeing your family move around the farm 
because at the moment you only get to see the person you marry stay on the porch of the house and then they'll move up to their little area that they've got at the top right above the shipping bin but imagine being able to see them literally walk all over the farm going to see the animals petting them maybe you'll go into the greenhouse one day and you'll just see leah there who you've married just <laughs> looking at the crops it'll be so so amazing to to see that in the game uh, i think it's such a big thing i think we've established today here just looking through these comments on the my videos and this uh, little community poll here that i've done it's come to my attention that that is the most requested and it's basically on the topic of the kids and the family in the game and i think that's just what people want right we've been asking for that for many years i remember doing like the the 1.3 update or the 1.4 or whatever and that was still my wish list then you know oh, i want to see the kids grow up and you know we're here now 1.6 is around the corner guys are we actually going to see the kids grow up are we going to get a little bit more from them we might do we do know it's very highly requested we could possibly see it Eric Barone is no longer on his own. He does have a team behind him on Stardew Valley from now on. So he could get a lot of help with this. Let's be hopeful. It could come. Hopefully some of your requests here in your wish list do get brought to the game. Some of the small ones, obviously. It'll be nice to see some of these get worked on. I'm so excited for 1.6. I do know it's not going to be huge. But nonetheless, guys, it is another free update with some content. I can't wait. I thought this was done. I thought 1.5 was the end, but it's not. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more Stardew Valley content. <sighs> I think 1.6 is close, guys, if I'm honest with you. So stay tuned, hit the notifications. I'll be diving into it and checking out everything. But I am going to end that one there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. It's been a blast. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and stay cozy.